Again, not too difficult on the saw. A couple things that we want to look at on the saw. We're going to do medial side first. So why don't you come over here and I'll switch with you so you can see this. All right? You're fine. You just stay well. We'll move. Okay. So medial side soft. There's a couple things that we want to remember. We have the ulnar nerve. Okay. So that kind of runs right in between the olecranon and the and the um or medial epicondyle. Okay. So right here is the, the ulnar nerve. If you tap on it should tingle a little bit as it goes down in the arm, okay? So that's gonna be that ulnar nerve that runs through here. When we talk about hitting your funny bone, that's what you're hitting is you're innervating that ulnar nerve right there, okay? So we have that one. We have on the medial side your wrist flexor group, okay? So they originate right here on the medial uh, epicondyle and they're just, just distal to that, so right down here. Again, if you have her kind of flex and extend her wrist, okay, you can feel them move. And they'll just kind of do that, okay? So they're going to flex. So you'll feel more on flexion than you will extension, but they kind of, you can get that good little pop right there and you can feel them right here. So go ahead and do it one time without my hand there. She's got good wrist flexors. Look at that. <laughs> She's a boss. Look at that. That's a good wrist flexor right there. Okay. All right. Um, and then, then I've named them so they're in here. All right, there's no way to differentiate between which wrist flexor that, that you're doing. So you're just if you're tested, it's just going to be wrist flexors. Okay? okay, but you do see them on that list if you want to know which ones you're looking at. And then the other one that you're going to do is the um, the uh, medial collateral ligament. Okay, which again pretty much connects right in here. Okay, so it comes from the medial epicondyle and comes just straight down and in, right into this distal part of the olecranon process right here, okay, is where we're going to be, okay? And so we'll talk about that a little bit when we do stress test of that, but that's going to be in that area right there, okay? When we talk about, um, um, uh, not, uh, this is tennis elbow in here, right? Tennis elbow? No, tennis elbow's on the outside, sorry. Little leaguer's elbow is in okay. here, okay? No, sorry. I'm trying to make sure I get the right elbow there. All right, so let's flip. Let's do lateral side now. No, you side. There you go. You're good. Okay. All right. So our lateral aspect. First thing is going to be. <clears throat> all right. Is um. The uh, wrist extensors. Okay. So. If I'm again, lateral epicondyle. Okay. All right. So we have extensors. They come this way. So if I just go ahead and have her extend, you can see them right here. So this is the extensors right here. So that's the lateral epicondyle right here, and here's the radial head, just distal to that radial head you'll see them pop out, right, that one right there, okay? So that's wrist extension. Just have them extend the wrist and they'll come out really easy on that one, okay? Um, brachioradialis, best way I can show you to do brachioradialis, come here, let me show you, okay? Is if you have them take their hand and put it underneath a table and then just push up, okay? Push up, brachioradialis pops out really easy right there, okay? okay. So that's gonna be the easiest way, best way to get that to palpate it is the brachioradialis right there, good. Right. Okay. Um, and then the other one is the lateral collateral ligament. So we say Tommy John's, right? Tommy John's situation. Okay, lateral collateral ligament. If we're at the epicondyle, lateral epicondyle, that space I was talking about between radial head and lateral epicondyle, right there. That's it. So it's kind of the joint line right there, what we're talking about right here. Okay? So right in there. Okay? Which is wrong. That's right. I knew I was right. No. It's not Tommy John's, that's tennis elbow. That's Tommy John's in there. Excuse me. I knew I was messing that up right there. Sorry. So you have to delete that. Because it makes me look like I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the Tommy John's situation right in there. Okay? Okay. All right. So that's tennis elbow right there. Okay? All right. Anterior aspect really quickly. Okay? We got a couple things that we want to look at. Um, and that's going to be... First one is, so anterior aspect, just go ahead and keep it straight. We can actually put it up here like that. Okay, so we have, this is what I wanna make sure. The cubital fossa is right here. So right in this area right here. You have a lot of, you have artery, you have a, a vein and everything in here. Um, so we got that cubital fossa right there that we're, we wanna look at and I wanna make sure that I get that, okay? Uh, to do the biceps tendon, okay? Close their fist and then resist extension, okay? So you want to push down, push okay. down against my hand. There you go, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, and you'll feel it. it's right here. Okay, so resist that extension and it pops out medial side right there. Okay. And what is that again? That's the biceps tendon. Biceps Distal tendon. biceps tendon, I guess is what I call it right there. Okay. All right. And then the other one, brachial artery. Again, right in the middle. Right in the middle is where the brachial artery be down here. Okay. Okay. And that's 
that's all you need as far as the anterior aspect. So cubital fossa, biceps tendon, brachial artery. Okay. Okay. All right. Range of motion. And if we're doing flexion, extension, pronation, supination. So uh, flexion, it's going to be biceps curl, extension. Go ahead, just extend. Tricep. All right, extension, okay, and then we've got uh, wrist, wrist pronation, supination. Best way to do resist pronation, supination, just get them in a handshake and just say, all right, now I want you to take your hand and I want you to turn it towards the ground. So you just turn it and you resist them. Go ahead, all the way down, all right? Then bring them back to neutral. So now take your palm and turn it towards the ground. And then you resist them as they go that way, okay? So that's just the way that we do that, pronation, supination right there, okay? That one, all right? And then our special tests, and we're good, okay? So valgus. And varus, just like in the knee. Remember how we talk about valgus and varus. Okay, so valgus test. We don't want them full extension because we're blocking them when we do that. So we want just a little bit of, of flexion right there. Okay, palm of our hand is on the lateral side. Okay, take your other, your bottom hand, put it on the wrist right here, and the, then the push is you pull wrist towards you, push palm away. Okay, so just like that. So we're just right here on that UCL or a medial collateral ligament, we're just gonna have our fingers and we're just gonna test to see that joint kind of open a little bit. So that's just it, that little push right there, okay? All right, so that's that. Then we do varus, switch with me. Same thing, so we're here. Make sure you can bring them all the way to extension, but you wanna make sure that you bring them back into a little bit of flexion, okay? Take your fingers, if you have big hands like me, and you wanna put at least two fingers where that lateral collateral ligament is, and then it's just, again, wrist goes towards you, palm pushes against the elbow. You're just trying to open it up. Shouldn't open it all if you've got a person that's perfectly healthy right there. And this is? This is varus. Varus. Varus, okay? Tinnel sign, remember I talked about that's just tapping that, tapping that. Okay. The, the ulnar nerve right here. So this is tinnel right here, which should feel really good to you. <laughs> okay, all right. Tennis elbow, let me make sure I got this. Thumb on lateral epicondyle, resist wrist extension. All right, so tennis elbow, go ahead and bend them, okay, like this, into 90-90, okay? Thumbs on lateral epicondyle, all right, you're gonna put them into flexion, all right, like this, okay? And then you're gonna ask them to push against your hand as they come back into extension, okay? And you're compressing this, this uh, tendon right here in this ligament so that it's gonna be kind of uh, inflamed, so go ahead and push against mine. Push. Mean, nope, this? nope, what? wrist comes that way, push. Oh, okay. okay. And you're just resisting that as they go, okay? So that's all you're doing, okay? Simple. Simple one right there. Okay, and then milking test, my favorite one. 90-90. <laughs> I know it seems odd. Okay, so again, we're testing UCL or medial collateral ligament right here. Okay, so we want to put our finger right there, support that elbow a little bit, take their hand, okay, turn it on a little teapot style, okay, and then what we do is we get to this position here and then we just push, the, we bring the hand towards us and we push that elbow away and we're just kind of milking that 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 ligament right there and that's going to cause that milking sign right there okay what does this um this is, doing this is, the wrist like this what difference does that that from this mm -hmm. right here is where we're taking we're taking those extent those uh, flexors out of it okay. completely so now we've basically put them on a relaxed position so we can really test that ligament itself okay. that's what we're doing right there i think that's it right yep